All right, so another hardware error, another video. So this today we're doing the valve index controls. Valve index controls have, uh, I initially got them and I thought they were pretty neat. They had, uh, the finger tracking works okay. It doesn't work amazing. Uh, the joysticks are, are, are very fragile um, to the point where if you were to use this for any sort of like Call of Duty game or any sort of game where you're constantly moving, if you're like an aggressive gamer, these joysticks are not going to last you uh, a year. Um, I'm I, I don't I don't game very hard because I get motion sickness in, in VR so um, typically that's not a big deal for me but the issue I had today was um, basically I bumped this thing like not even hard like at all like this one's got a little bit of scratching up here very tiny uh, tiny bit of scratching the controller is in relatively good condition but I ended up bumping this thing um, like 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 very lightly and it just stopped tracking the buttons work but it no longer tracks so um this these controls here <laughs> they have six hours of battery life uh, the tracking works quite well the finger tracking is okay it works pretty good sometimes not amazing i'm actually surprised by uh how poor the finger tracking is um the uh travel distance on the clicks are kind of weird the grappling, so like if you're playing a baseball game or something and you're going to grab a ball and you're going to throw the ball, there is a little bit of a delay with the uh, the let off, which is understandable, um, but it just, it's a bit of a, if you were to, a professional baseball player and you were to be throwing a ball in VR with these things and then go throw a ball in uh, real life, you'd it'd probably break your brain the way, the way that works. Um, the buttons are good, the tracking, these things are cool. I wish they had more of these things because th they'll never break. Apparently they, they have a different style of joystick that's uh a little bit more resilient, uh, whereas this one's not. Um, the comfort of these, I mean, like, they're, it's okay, but, like, like I don't know if my hands are too big or what, but um, they stay on and all that, and maybe that's the best they could get, but it just, it does feel a little bit weird up in the top here. Um, that being said, um, these are, I can't in good conscience recommend buying these. So these are another, the index controls, like 400 bucks Canadian, I don't know how much in the U.S., but I really can't recommend buying these. So I, I would say anyone buying, you know, an index at this point, don't buy the index. Just go ahead and get um, base stations for full body tracking and then figure out which headset you want after that. Because um, these controllers are not up to par. Um, I have been looking at, like, replacement controllers. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a refund for these because I really, really do not trust the build quality. These are horrible build quality. And perhaps this is why Valve has been waiting so long to uh, to release a new VR device. I don't think, uh, I don't know if these are made by HTC, but it seems like everything HTC touches is just gutter trash. Um, so, so these, these are an issue. Uh, my base stations haven't broken yet, which is nice, but I have broken uh, a lot of other things. I haven't owned an Index, um, but I have owned multiple Vive Pro t uh, Pro 2s, which are defective. Do not buy those. They the screens get too hot and delaminate. You will go through, if you're a, an advanced user, you'll go through about one a month. Um, the Pimax 8KX is working again. I don't know why. I think I reset my computer and it just the soft, this, the, the Chinese CCP spyware on it gets, gets a little temperamental at times. You got to kind of like you know figure out what it's happy with and what it's not happy with. Um, but it's it's working again, which is good. But now um, Halloween night, I don't have any Halloween parties to go to or anything in VR chat. But uh, we're we're down a controller. Uh, like I said, the controller won't will work, but it won't track. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Uh, Valve Index Controllers, uh, buyer beware. I wouldn't say they're defective, but if you're giving these to a kid or uh, someone who's who's more aggressive and uh, like pretty intense with their gaming, they're going to turn these joysticks to dust in no time. And they're eventually, I mean, it, with with the with the amount of uh, with with the impact that this thing took when it broke, that was literally nothing. Like literally nothing. So. Um, that's a bit concerned. That's very concerning. So I'm going to see if I can get a refund because I honestly, I don't, these are too expensive to go through one every three months. And it seems like the HTC products or whatever, I, I'm, I'm burning through those products. They're just the tr trashiest design, low IQ human uh, caveman style, idiot developers. And these are technically great, they, but they've the, but the, the the battery life is good, six to seven hours, very nice compared to the Vive ones, which the Vive ones is like three hours. But like I said in my previous videos, the Vive ones are a lot hardier, 
And I don't foresee the Vive ones breaking. Where I, I could see people going through three or four of these a year uh, if they're a power user. And that's really pathetic. So um, buyer beware on these. I would almost say don't buy them. But like, if you're doing like little finicky stuff, like home tours or something, um, maybe the VR home tours. Maybe these will work for people just you know walk gingerly walking around. But um, if you're a power user, or if you accidentally like, if you if you drop these things from like knee height, literally knee height, they will. Might you might lose tracking because that's basically what happened to this one. It fell off the chair behind me, and the chair is literally knee height. So. Um, that's pretty really sad and I, I'm not gonna fix it myself I'm gonna see if I can send it back I don't know if I could fix it myself but it is nice having hardware you could fix yourself because a lot of these companies today um, hire bottom-of-the-barrel engineers real real dumb idiots and they do dumb idiot things and then the customers uh, have to pay for that so that's unfortunate hopefully uh, valve um, fixes that because I mean I like valve as a company but their hardware is uh, is absolute gutter trash and they need to hire some people F clean house get get us get some good people in there get rid of all the lingerers and just start over because this is this is not not even close to where it needs to be anyway guys thanks for the uh thanks for hanging out that's uh that's my uh, hardware update in the vive uh, valve index controls and uh, uh if anyone knows any other controls i can get to because right now i can't i can't right i gotta go back to quest i'm always going back to quest i'm always going back to effing quest like why is this? It's like you you buy you buy two thousand dollar headsets, you buy two thousand dollar Vive Pro twos, you buy two thousand dollar Pimaxes. It's just just everything enthusiast level seems to be just broken. Just get a Quest the Quest two. I hate to say it, like it it just works. I haven't had issues with it. It just works. The controls work. I could I could literally spike that controller. Maybe not spike it, but I could probably spike it in. Oh, almost spike it into the cement floor here. And I guarantee you that effing thing would still would still work. I can guarantee it. So, um, I just don't know why this with this cr tr trash is. It's got these little hinges, like the like paper thin hinges. Like it, it feels like it's gonna like, like like you could snap it in half. Like a bunch of idiots, man. Anyway, so that's the uh, index controls. I'm sure you guys have gone through tons of them because um, I had concerns at the start, and then I'm, I was literally surprised at like how. Anyway, don't buy them. Don't don't buy them. Just uh, find something else. Uh, get the base stations if you're gonna if you're gonna start out. Get a. <sighs> what do you wh where do you go where do you go if you want full body tracking in VR? Do you go Pimax? Do you deal with the with the BS? I wouldn't. I mean, if you're if you're new to computers, don't don't even think about it. That's a, that would be a horrible situation. Do you get the 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 Reverb G2 and then deal with like trash tracking, trash controller tracking? and um in low fov like there's no there's there's no all-encompassing headset the deal the, the, the only one is like the quest 2 and then if you want to go upgrade to full body tracking later like there's no easy path for that on top of that the conversion software ovr open space mover is like it, it takes sometimes it takes me two minutes to calibrate my uh, full body to my quest headset sometimes it takes me 25 minutes now do you if you like there's just no easy solution it's just a bunch of companies throwing trash into like a, a, just throwing trash at the wall. It's it's really really the state of VR right now is very very sad, and it's uh, I, the, the amount of hardware issues is is, is phenomenal. Um, yeah, hopefully we uh, hopefully the we can get some more uh, talented people in the VR industry because a lot of these slouches do not belong to be here. They're just along for the free ride, and uh, it's really sad that some of these these worms that make their way in these corporations and just absolutely destroy them. Anyway, guys, that's my uh, that's my rant for today. Um, Quest 2 is still the, the headset to buy, sadly. Um.